As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Back at you with the blind base head here. I'm uh, going to be showing you how to use a bench power supply to charge any battery. In this scenario, we're charging a headway battery. This is from batteryhookups.com, the Super Beast, the 24 volt module modified into the 12 volt. Uh, it's 96 amp hours now that it's modified to 12 volt. We have an active balancer on there, keep everything nice and balanced. We have a Bluetooth battery monitoring unit, uh, works really good. Uh, from my phone I can see you know how this battery is cycling its current voltage you know whatever anything that you need to know about it um, and this is just a cheap nice little power supply you get off the Amazon you know it's like 50 60 bucks um, 1 to like 30 volts something like that uh, up to 10 amps of current 10 amp yeah so um anyway uh, this is just a little amp rack situation I got going on. It's not pretty. It's not meant to be finished. Uh, the system is going to be expanded upon, so this is kind of just to get it in there. It's something. Anyway, <clears throat> first step is you want to know about your battery. You're going to want to know, you really want to know what its cutoff is as far as low voltage when you know it is dead and you do not want to be pulling any more power from it. Okay. You want to know its nominal voltage, which is basically right in between full charge and completely discharged, typically. And that's pretty well where it's going to rest after it sits a while. And then you want to know its maximum charge voltage. This unit right here, uh, the max you want to charge it at is 14.8. And I typically charge mine a little bit below. Um, I guess not real, there's not real, no real particular reason uh just probably a little bit easier on it honestly so i like to charge mine at 14.4 14.5 and call it good um now first step don't mind the wiring like i said like this it's a temporary jumper so i can just so i was able to test it in the house it's my roman wired temporary jumper got the a lot of stuff going on here because of the car i'm putting it in it's not easy to add an aftermarket head unit in, so that's lame. Anyway, <clears throat> so we have my positive side here. It's a little cluttered, but there is, uh, see there, it separates. We have the positive side up here, and we have the negative side down here. Real simple. Now, all right, so first step, turn your unit on well first step first step make sure your leads aren't touching yeah. and then turn your unit on right now it is at 12.2 volt, volts and it's not hooked up anything so it's not nothing is pulling any amperage drawing any current now like i said this battery in particular every battery is different um, you want to know your battery before you start to charge anyway i said this battery I uh, can charge up to 14.8 and I typically charge it at 14.4. So first step what we're going to do here, we're going to turn our voltage up to 14.4, somewhere in that ballpark, 14.4, 14.5, we'll go 14.5, look, oh wow, that was nice. Some of them have a fine tune adjustment, this one does not, and uh, you don't really need it, you just take your time and be careful, You're gonna, it's going to, current wise. I'm going to turn it all the way down for now. Jesus. Okay, finally. And once you turn your current all the way down, your voltage starts dipping on this one in particular. So I'll give it a little bit of... Turn it up just a pinch, just so my voltage goes back. Just enough so it stays up where I wanted it. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so next step is connecting to your battery. So take this little gator clip here. Find a spot to connect it to. It doesn't really matter where as long as it's on the right side. <laughs> so we'll connect it right here on this. On this bolt on this lug here. Bam. 
And then you want to connect your negative. Kind of hard to see here. There. Okay. All right. Now you want to turn your amperage up to wherever you like it. Uh, this battery has a pretty decent C rating. So you can just go ahead and crank that amperage in it. Get it charged up. It's only 10 amps. It's not really that big of a deal. There we go. So this battery right now is taking in 10.16 amps. So, um, and the cool part about this is this battery will take up amperage, okay, until the battery itself, the battery itself was at 13.1, uh, which wasn't fully discharged, but I'm just, you know, making a video here. So, once the battery reaches the 14.5 that I set this power supply to, uh, the closer it gets to the 14.5, the less amperage it will take automatically. You don't have to touch it. The less it will take, and once it reaches that 14.5 volts, the battery itself, then it will be taking in no more amperage, and your battery is charged. It's charged where you want it to be. And there you go. All you have to do after that point is disconnect and get to using. So that's all there was today. Just a little short little update. Uh, don't judge me. Don't judge the amp rack. Uh, still new at this. So anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out there. Have a good one.